moving on, let's get you a CNBC TV 18 exclusive conversation with Tata Consumer Products. Our col uh, colleague Shilpa caught up with uh, Deepika Ban, who is the president, packaged foods at the company and began by asking about the rural demand scenario. Listen in. If you look at rural demand, I think, um, you know, August left us a bit worried about train. Uh, that being said, September came in better. Now the question is when you tie up the deficits, you know, and the, depending on how the state-wise, uh, you know, monsoon count comes through and the impact it has on rural income. So that's a mixed bag. I wouldn't say it's necessarily poor, but we just got to see how that plays out. And then on those lines, how do you then see the uh, trajectory for volume growth then? Now, in yeah. the past year and a half, we've seen negative, we've seen double digit. Yeah. Last two quarters, I think we're in the six to eight uh, range. range. So yeah. going forward, how do you then see volume so, play out? So, um, you know, from a foods business standpoint, we continue to be, uh, we definitely continue to be very optimistic about growth. Um, if you look at the more recent term trends, right, the last two quarters, we've seen growth on the other side of uh, 24 at um, you know at a revenue level we've also seen like you said volume growth which is at the six to eight percent level even if you look at the long term CAGR it looks good um, on some of the categories where we've actually taken aggressive prices as well like salt we've still come on the other side competitively winning mm -hmm. like salt over a two three year time period is you know 600 bips plus of share gain yeah so to that extent I think we've been able to navigate okay. uh, and I think where we are this year it yeah, I can't say it's more complex than the last two. Uh, so, yeah, continue continue to see that uh, there's great opportunity for growth. Right, and you said it came on the back of a lot of price increases. Would you be able to sort of uh, help me understand or uh, pinpoint to, apart from salt, what other categories did you take uh, price increases in the past quarter and what the range would have been? In order to ensure that we do have sustainable businesses in line with the table, we've taken up prices. Right. Any range that you can give me to sort of understand better how much of a price increase we've seen in your Sampan portfolio? Yeah, I mean, t it depends on what previous time period you are looking at, but uh, I think that there has there has been price growth. Right. So you, you do see that the growth going ahead will be a, still a mix of price and volume or will it, do you see volume-led growth? Yeah, my, I think my view is... Uh, See, at the end of the day, you've got to have a sustainable business model. So there's no way to sign off on the year to say it's going to be volume, not price. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in any case a difficult equation to post growth. So there will have to be price. But I think the trick when you're playing large portfolios is you've got to measure and spread it across the portfolio. Right. So um, we've certainly not shied away from very bold price increases. So some of the categories that we have, we'd want to be more cautious and mm -hmm. look at where there's upside. A good way that we always look at our portfolio is especially where we are in large compete categories is to see that the RPIs are the relative price indexes we are holding. Right. So I think uh, maybe in some I would say you certainly can't say it's only volume and there won't be price but you want to be very cautious about price. Yeah, yeah right. But which are these categories that you see that there is an upside? Overall on growth, I would say across the portfolio. Uh, if you're talking specifically pricing, pricing. I think, yeah, I think I would say that... Uh, um, I mean, we look at it across the portfolio, to be honest, where we can get. So from a category standpoint, I don't think you could leave a category. You'd protect some variance, add to some variance, okay. right? So at a category level, I don't think you can deliver a large business by being uh, price constant. Mm -hmm. But do we now do it on variance, which we haven't exercised earlier, you know, um, right. is, is what's going to be key. Okay, that's the word coming in from Tata Consumer Products. Let's take a quick break. On the other side, many 